Thank you, thank you, thank you, Southern Gal. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. You know, I don't know about you guys, but 10 months, that's way too long without no answers. I've seen cases before that, you know, three, four months, expect a time, and then something would happen. But no answers? No answers at all. 10 months? Nah, I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. So the team that we have, I'm not going to say it's me because, hell, I've been locked up. I can't, I can't stay away from police long enough to do anything. I, I've had the police call on me 36 times now and since I've been out of jail. So, I mean, there has to be something. There has to be a connection somewhere with that. Wouldn't you think? You know, if you get real close and you start talking to one of the main suspects and deliver, you know, taking on pizza, somebody's going to get mad. And somebody did get mad. Now, you see, I put my freedom on the line because I knew what would happen. I knew it the whole time. I knew it the whole time. I knew once I got involved, drug our team in it like I did, I knew that that resistance would be there. But it automatically tells who the, resi the resistance is, who it is. Why couldn't I think about that? I mean, why didn't no people think about that? The resistance is criminals. I mean, this ain't no, this ain't rocket science. This ain't rocket science. Who benefited? Who took $120,000 in the last 10 months and gave the poor victims and the victims' family Two hundred fifty, three hundred here, but a hundred some thousand dollars. Who's working overtime? Who is the big people now? And what is their connections? You see, it was a very, re re I mean, it was really thought out. It really was, because I, I said in the beginning, when the main eyewitnesses, right, the main people, and the suspects, right, are one and the same, there are no leads. Therefore, it's a perfect crime. You have to think outside the box. But people started thinking way outside the box. I mean, hell, they went to digging up bones. They went to get free animals. They went to busting people's wishes. I mean, I don't even know. I've seen, I've seen this case go right around in circles, bringing back people from the dead. I've seen it all. Every week there's a new character. This guy here, this here, this guy here trafficking children. You know, this here, this guy, a predator, a pedophile. Every week there's something different. It's worse than a damn soap opera. It's worse than a soap opera. So I knew if I could get Candace alone, and I'm not talking about no lovey-dovey alone, guys. Come on now. If I could get her alone, I could find out more. I could find out more. Like I said, this is probably, I mean, I put my freedom on the line to do this. Every day, I can't let people know where I'm at. I can't let people know where I'm at. I mean, come on. Wow. I have to hide back from you? This ain't right. This ain't right. Exactly. A few weeks ago, actually about a month ago, before I'd actually broken Candace's mastorial connection. Yeah, I said that. Did everybody ever wonder why I'd have her touch her hat like this for her? Put, put, raise your hands if you know what that is, when I'd have her touch her hat. How many people have ever seen that? How many people have seen that? Put a one in the chat if you ever see me and Candace when we're, we're on stream, and I'll do this right here, and she does her hand like this to her hat. Put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat if you've seen that before. Put a one in the chat if you've seen that before. You see, when people are... Brought into that. Slaves, whatever you want to call it, whatever. Abused. The master, the master has something over that person. They snap their fingers or something. They know to listen. They know to listen. They know that command. It's just like training an animal. That command. That command. So I had to their fingers or something. They know to listen. They know to listen. They know that command. It's just like training an animal. That command. That command. So I had to break that command. But in order to break that command, you have to replace it with something else. You have to replace that thing. You have to replace that command. And that's what I did. Therefore, it let her mind just kept on going. See, before, when the master, right, Don, when the master had this control and he could snap his fingers or yell or whatever, she knew to stop. She knew to quit. Once I broke that, well, there's no barriers. There's no limits. She can continue on talking. This video is not about what she said to me, as it may be sick. It's sick to think that someone could harm a child. It's so sick. And then to think about all the money, the exploitation that's been made off this poor little girl. And still leave people clueless with what even really happened. I've been wanting off this. The team has practically, get out of here, you know, 
pretty much. But something keeps bringing me to the point that everything happens for a reason. There's a reason you're being attacked. There's a reason for all of this. There's a reason. What is that reason? What is that reason? What is that reason? Why would they want to attack you for? You're getting close. That's why. The closer I got, the worse it got on me. Got them to where they're saying, oh, yeah. And it all started with the summer whale stuff. Think about that. BK, your worst mistake ever was reaching out and doing that interview with me when you tricked me with Sherry. You know it. When you uh, put her on panel. That is your worst mistake you've ever made in your life. And I want you to know that. Now, now what are we going to do? I'm not going to do nothing because I'm not skilled. I'm not skilled enough. I'm not skilled enough. But do I have the networks? And do we have the networks that does? Yes. Yes, we do. That's why it's turned over to Predator Hunter Nation and their teams. The people they're talking to right now. It's yours for the taking, guys. I'm not skilled enough to go on that search. 12 or 13 men is allowed. I give my spot up to someone more qualified. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. So, it's not for me no more. But I do believe it will be the breaking of the straw. This will break that piece that's in, that's blocking everybody's way right now. This is what it does. Now, are we looking for summer? Of course. Do we think we're going to find summer? No. But are we going to find evidence of something that might have happened to summer? Better than average. You see, that's why everybody's afraid for it. Everybody's running and skipping around because they messed up. They're lazy. They're lazy. They're lazy. The mood and the capability you have to have to commit such a heinous, heinous act. Well, Don explains it many times in different ways, but you have to understand what to look for. They sexually molested her. They beat the F out of her. And then they got rid of the evidence. And they probably killed her. You see, I get hit all the time for this. I get hit because I tell the truth about things. I don't sugarcoat nothing. You can't sugarcoat it. Because if you start sugarcoating it, then you got you get in one of them rabbit holes. You just jump down in with everybody else and you can't get out of there. That's what happens. When you sugarcoat something, that's what happens. Now, guys, this ain't about money for me. Never have been. Never has been. I'm facing 10 years. 10 years. 10 years. Don't count of Benny's connections. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to tie him in to every bit of this. Watch and see. You guys, you get on the internet. You all say you're fed up with everybody. You're fed up with all these trolls, these, these people who are harming people in real life. It ain't only YouTube streets. It's in real life now. It's in real life. It's in real life. If you are, all I ask is help us. Help me. That's all I ask. Help me. Help me build up a team of lawyers, legal team. They can not only sue just one of them, but sue 23 of them. Because that's my deal. And that's what I'm doing. I met with, a, I had a meeting today. So I have to have different lawyers because of different states. But one lawyer covers four different states already. And I think if we make an example out of those four or five people right off the bat, four or five people in a huge college, I think then people are going to say, oh, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can't just say this yet. We can't just do this. We can't just call the police when we want to. We can't do that. We can't, we can't waste those emergency that those emergency men and women out on nothing. Last night, I had just got done. I just, had just got finished eating. Long John Silver's, and I did a giveaway with some knives and a tomahawk. BK, or some of his minions, I'll just say this, called the police and said that I was out in the parking lot swinging an axe and had knives trying to stab people. Can you imagine when the police, when the police pulled in what it was like? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine? Can you imagine that? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I mean, you don't get... How you doing, sir? Uh, Lots of very face, please. Hell no, you don't get that. No, you don't get that. This morning in court. This morning, right? He had called and said that he was my ride waiting on me just to find out what they was doing to me. They had two people in the courtroom, one outside the courtroom, and one out in front of the in front of the courthouse trying to get their phones. The bailiff, well, I tell you what, the bailiff themselves, the, one of them's phone, did he like that? And he, I seen it going up. And we, I already alerted everybody. I already, everybody already knew. He walked over. He's like, give me that phone like that. And I don't know if they got it back or not. But I know after that, it was a security measures. And they actually took me out and around down the steps and back out. And then when I got out, there was people outside. They went in the bushes. They had no bushes. They had no bushes there. They went no bushes there. So that's why the hell they went in the bushes. Waiting on me. And I had their cameras up. And they had to move them out of the way. Just so I could get. Just so I could get. So that's the kind of people we're dealing with, folks. Now, you don't think that there's no kind of money being paid out for that? Let me tell you something. You're wrong. You're wrong. He admitted to Dolly. I figured. 
Can we address the fact that you impersonated a first responder? I am a first responder. You, you just don't know about it yet, do you? You don't know about it. So you, 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 you waste your mind. You waste your energy on bullshit. You don't look at the facts. You don't check it twice, and you damn sure don't cut it once. All you guys do is get a little bit of information. You throw it out there. You need to look up what first responder actually is, too, first, before you even come at me, ever come at me, ever come at me. Now, this whole, this whole charade has been lies. It's been lies. They know nothing, absolutely nothing they know. They're stupid. They're stupid. But anyways, they look small-minded, therefore they are small-minded. Hold on a second. Can you imagine what's going to happen when you get one of these hot-headed police officers and somebody's calling the police and stuff all the time on them, dangerous, and this person's dangerous, and they get out, and they, get, they draw their weapon, and they're going, and they actually fire on someone and kill someone. Say if they don't shoot the person, say if they miss, they hit an innocent bystander. What's going to happen then? What's going to happen? Can your more weapon come up if you want to? Let's get this over with. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of waiting on bullshit. I'm tired of waiting on your damn putting shit off. Let's get this done. I've got the papers being drawn up. Yes, I paid for them. They got started today. So, Tina, if you want to come up and take over this live, it's all yours. I'd, I'd rather you do that now because I turned it over to you guys. You guys are the ones with the big connections. You guys are the ones with uh, the big dogs. If you want to come up and just uh, explain to the people, you know, what we can do and what we can't do. But like I said, I gave my position. Mm -hmm. So you guys can come up if you want to and take over from there. All I want to do is one thing. If you want to help and you want to help me with this legal stuff and put these trolls in their place, I'd appreciate it. They hit my cash app. I don't have cash app anymore. I can't have cash app. They're, they're still tiring stuff up. But if you will, these are the this is for legal funds. If you'll help, more than welcome. This is PayPal, while you're up, 2022 at gmail.com. I've done my part. I said I was out of the Summer Wells deal, and I am. I think we got enough now to where, especially with Candace agreeing that we can search. Oh, we need your signature on the paper now. But I've been talking to Candace, and Candace is full agreement. She's starting to understand that she is going to help her baby. She's going to help her baby. She's going to do what's right for her kid. So PayPal, lawyer up 2022 at gmail.com. I don't, I, I mean, even if it's 50 cent, if it's a dollar, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate it because this is what I got to do now. This is what we got to do to stop. This is how we got to do it. No, I'm done. I gave my word. I was done and I'm done. And I thank you, Anonymous. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, might as well just sharpen and phase it up. You had a whole hill side full of pedophiles. That's worse than a damn vampire den. I've seen videos out there of people saying, oh, I don't know what he's done. He's he's kind of hypnotized Candace. She's under his control now. No, I just removed that masterism off of her and gave her a free lie. Showed her how she could break it. Now it's up to her whether or not she wants to break it. It's up to her to be that person. And if she's not, then hey, I just told you the answer to the story, right? You know, I tell everybody, when I was seven, eight years old, I was watching Columbo. That's the only TV show I ever watched when I was a kid. I didn't watch cartoons or nothing like that. I mean, I watched Scooby-Doo. Anything with a mystery in it, I was all about. But Columbo, Matlock, stuff like that. That's, that's me. That's me. That's what I did. I guess that's why when I got out of high school, I went to Stratford Institute. Uh, you guys didn't know about that, though, did you? No, I studied private investigations. Private investigations. Are you ready? Are you ready? So, guys, I'm going to get off here, and I'm going to let Tina take it over. Tina, you can also close it out. I appreciate it. Thank you all. If you guys will, please help me out. Lawyer up, 2022 hey, at gmail.com. You, you got to tell me what's going on. I missed the whole live. Oh, my God. Just uh, Candace has agreed for the, for the search. Oh, really? Just, Yes, yes. She's going to help her baby. She's agreed. I'm getting the paperwork right. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, okay. I, I'll, I'll tell you more. I'll tell you more about it tomorrow. But uh, I'll have uh, I'll be I'll be there and I'll tell you more about it. All but, right. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We need to talk because I've been talking around to you. We got to talk. So that's excellent. Gonna, though. That's excellent. On what, on what ground? On what grounds? Um, about the search and stuff. <laughs> okay. And, okay. 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 And information. Without, okay. Good deal. Good deal. So you can explain. You can explain the rest up to them. You know the powers you can pull and what we can pull. The best dogs in the world. All that good stuff. And I mean, like no, I said, I'm not telling nobody shit about nothing anymore because they just go and they fucking well, I'm not saying, don't name the, ruin it. I mean, I'm, I'm saying not name the team. Don't name the team. Right. Just talk about how they got the – don't well, name the team. They don't know. I mean, just just because of the way they're acting, more and more people are writing us. They're calling us on our landline um, and volunteering services, and these aren't um, just keyboard warriors. They're people oh. who don't want us to talk about who they are, um, but they're sending us things. And we have some nice packages that came here today. We got three, like, 4K body cams that have everything on them. It, they're awesome. And uh, we also got those uh, 5K wildlife cameras that we got to go take over to Charlie. Awesome, awesome. And that was and, all uh, from, it, it, you know, Explain to everybody. Followers. Explain to everybody over that, too, if you want to. Oh, okay. The Charlie thing? Yeah, and how that's going. I know the, the Mika, you know, that's yep. going pretty good. Right? Yep, we got the petition out. Um, if you guys want to go over 
It's a predator hunter nation. Um, and Ernie's probably shared it, but it's the uh, petition for Mika. And um, you can read the details of that story. We think that no matter what, Mika has been in doggy jail at 16 years old with cataracts and arthritis and can't hardly hear. And she's just recently stopped eating, but she's 16 years old. She's not going to go out and eat anybody or even bite anybody, but she probably deserves to go home. And, uh, and I'm pretty sure she was a police dog as a retired police dog and not have to die in the animal shelter of Cock County. They call themselves friends of the animal shelter. Well, let me say one more thing and I'm getting off here. Guys, okay. if you want to help, this is it. Lawyerup2022 at gmail.com. PayPal, because I can't, we can't accept up to do cash app. They've destroyed all the cash app stuff. So if you guys want to help, Lawyerup2022 at gmail.com. That's the PayPal. Guys, I appreciate you all. And Tina, take it home. I'm out. Okay.